All right, here we go. Last little circuit for the workout. We're going to do banded rows, banded tricep kickbacks, and we're going to do drop squats. So this time we're going to do everything for time. Uh, at this point, if you've done everything else as well as you were supposed to, uh, you're probably not let me not say you're not, but it may be difficult for you to get the 30 seconds of work for each movement we're supposed to do. 30 seconds is a tough ask no matter what. That said, you're going to try to get to 30 seconds. You may or may not get there. If you don't get there, feel free to rest mid-set and then do more work. So, you know, I have 30 seconds on the clock. Maybe 15 seconds, I'm banging them out. I lose steam. I take five seconds, rest at 20 pick back up at 25 for the last five seconds. That's still a great set, all right? This is really just about getting that work in, getting some volume in. Again, things aren't gonna be too intense. We're not putting a lot of load on ourselves, um, but just be mindful of that, all right? Take inventory of yourself. Don't go too hard for no reason. All right, so we're gonna do bent over rows with a band. We're gonna go tricep kickbacks with the band, and then we're gonna do drop squats, 30, 30, 30. And then once again, we're going to take 30 seconds to a minute of rest before you repeat. For this circuit, we're going to do three sets of this circuit. All right. So first thing we're going to do is our rows. I'm going to make sure my hands are, you know, well placed, pretty strong on the band. Feel free to wrap your hands like this if you want to have kind of a handle. I personally like to just grasp the whole thing. So I'm going to stand here. I'm gonna push my butt back like I would for a deadlift, and I'm just gonna row for speed. So I'm gonna get a lot of reps. You kinda of have two options in a scenario like this where the weight isn't too heavy. You're either gonna go for speed or you're gonna go really, really slow. For now, we wanna go for speed. We wanna burn out whether we get to 30 seconds or not. After that, we'll take a few seconds. And we're gonna get back in that same position, and we're gonna do tricep kickbacks. So I'm going to give you two options for the kickback. So this red band isn't that light. If you notice, it's kind of hard even for me, my thick, beefy self, <laughs> to kick this back. So feel free to single the band and do the same thing. Believe it or not, this burns more than the other one because I'm actually able to get full range of motion. I'm getting a good stretch and good shortening of the muscle. So... Do which works for you for 30 seconds. For the rows, I really want them explosive because this is not going to be a lot of weight for you, whether you double it or single it. Tricep kickbacks, a little bit more control for 30 seconds of work. After that, we have our drop squat. No need for the band. It's just like we're doing a jumping jack, we're going to drop with a wide base, tap and drop. This is actually the easiest part of the circuit. I'd love for you to coast just like we're doing right now. I'm jumping, I'm fighting gravity. This is already a lot of work. Just keep the rhythm, keep good technique, and kind of coast till you rest for 30 seconds to a minute. All right, once again, we wanna do our rows for speed, hopefully for 30 seconds, tricep kickbacks for 30 seconds, drop squats for 30 seconds, and then we'll rest for 30 seconds to a minute. We wanna get three rounds. Let's see it. Get it done. 